Before creation itself, there were six singularities. Forged into infinity stones. This dude's still alive. He is not a dude. You're a dude. This, this is a man. A handsome, muscular man. It's like his muscles are made of cotati metal fibers. Stop massaging his muscles. Wake him up. Wakanda to the rest of the world. This is not what I imagined. What did you imagine? The Olympics? Maybe even a Starbucks? Muscular man. I'm muscular. <laughs> here we are on the set of Avengers. I've been lucky enough, along with other Guardians of the Galaxy, to join up with the Avengers mm. and be here and get an opportunity to save the world. Does it make you an Avenger now as well? <laughs> I don't know. I hope. Maybe like a third string Avenger, yeah. I was one of the founding members, so. Yeah, thank you. Oh, so he's huge. You know, out of all of the people that I've had the good fortune to work with, these two particular guys and the triumvirate that we formed together, it's very special friendship and decade plus of time together. Go team, yeah! It's been this witnessing of like people's lives growing and changing. It's been a really cool experience. Working with Lizzie has been really, really awesome. And I think there is something very powerful about being able to play women who do heroic things. And those women are so awesome, so we've had a really good time. Hanging out with everyone on the set is one of the best parts of this job, actually, because it does have this kind of large extended family feel. I had a bit of a bucket list. I wanted to work with Prax. I thought he'd be good fun. Proven completely wrong on that front. He was arduous and boring and not particularly funny. Boom! Well, at first blanche, it's hard to know what to make a Cumberbatch. And then the more time I spent with him on and off set, I just kind of infatuated with this guy. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, the journey that Robert Downey Jr. has made, he's the godfather of all this. It has literally been the adventure of a lifetime. I get a little misty thinking about it. So, you know, I lucked out. This is our first day. Here we are in Pinewood in Atlanta, and it's it's actually pretty unbelievable. Day one of what promises to be a year of fun-filled lensing. I remember actually going to see the first Avengers with one of my best mates from home, and I'd never have dreamed that I'd ever be in one of these movies, let alone playing Spider-Man. I feel like I'm on top of the world, because this is just mind-blowing. What we always try to do at Marvel Studios is we're building the cinematic universe, is look at the big picture, how can things relate across movies and across years. Avengers Infinity War is the culmination of the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe as started in May of 2008 with the release of Iron Man 1. And it really is an unprecedented culmination of a series of films interlinked together, which at the time had never been done before, 
And for us, the important thing is making it all come together. We know they're gonna face Thanos. We've been setting that up since Avengers 1. How do you do that in a way that is unexpected, that pits the Avengers against somebody who is more powerful than anyone they faced and yet make them completely unprepared to face him? Well, tear them apart, which is why we did Civil War before Infinity War. As we were conceiving and, and executing Civil War, the end of that movie was very much a setup for what these movies would be. We always had the sense of that. Tony is not talking to Steve. The Avengers are basically a name with nobody in it. The world is vulnerable. Tony senses this greater threat approaching, and so he is doing everything in his power to keep the Earth safe. Thanos shows us why he's the biggest, the best, the baddest villain that we've ever had, and the most frightening villain that the Avengers have ever faced. The most exciting part is the incredible roster of well-developed characters, and that's gonna create a really combustible, exciting, massive scale adventure. You know that we're onto something within the studio when we hit upon an idea or we see a piece of concept art and all of us in the room go, this is cool. And in Avengers Infinity War, the Avengers will meet the Guardians of the Galaxy. Because of what Marvel is, because of what they have done over the last 10 years, these next two Avengers films will be an event like no one has ever seen on film before. The entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. To wipe out half the universe. If he gets all the Infinity Stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. We got one advantage. He's coming to us. We have what Thanos wants, so that's what we use. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way, it might be really good. Wow. The end is near. When I'm done, half of humanity will still exist. Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. And I hope they remember you. I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, I'm using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. There was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people to see if we could become something more. So when they needed us, we could fight the battles that they never could. <laughs>